what I wanted to do is I wanted to do just a quick shot of what I've got going on. Uh, I do have the HoloLens 2 on my head. Uh, and quick, maybe a little bit relative. Since I've got the whole video studio, I went ahead and fired up the uh, quote-unquote good camera as well as in headset recording so that you can see sort of both at the same time. What I want to demo is I want to demo an app that I built. And what the app does is it gives us a way to see where the mesh for a room is not completely set. So first up is let me show you what happens when I throw my hand out. And you'll see that I get uh, a Windows thing on my wrist. And what that's going to do is that gives me the option to bring up the main menu. I can tap things in the air. Um, and when I intersect with the plane of the menu, it'll open things up. And the app that I want to show you is my Surfaces Only app. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that. You'll notice that the whole room uh, gets uh, painted really quickly, and that is an indication that I am entering into a 3D experience. And this one was built with Unity. Now, what you'll see is a, a set of different colors. And what I did is I took a six-sided cube, threw it outside of what should be the boundaries of the room, and painted each one with a light a different color. So there's red and uh, purple, and there's all of these different colors. Then what you're seeing on top of that is a set of wireframes, right? And these wireframes are actually the HoloLens detecting the environment I'm in. And when it does that, because of the shader that's currently being used, it occludes anything further back. So I'm basically standing in this big, huge um, 25 or 30 foot uh, cube and I'm on the inside of it with a different light shining on each wall. Well, when these uh, shapes show up, what I get is that occludes the back. So you can see here, there's missing mesh right through this area. And by the way, you can see it's tracking my hands as well. Um, that's built into the Mixed Reality Toolkit. And so as this continues to work, you can continue to see that the mesh isn't complete. Now, if I spend a minute or two here, what I'm going to eventually get to is it will actually close that mesh off. Um, I'm not going to do that just for the sake of this being a simple demo. Um, but I did want to show, you can see how it is kind of quickly figuring out the room. It does a better job when I'm really close to stuff. Um, I do have the uh, HoloLens the, the spatial engine, uh, the infrared time of flight camera, turned all the way up. No, not all the way, but it's turned up fairly high. And so you can see where these gaps in the mesh are, but it's you can also see that it is closing those gaps down. Now, so the first question is, okay, so why are you doing this? Well, the HoloLens captures all these maps and it holds on to them. And so once it's learned a room, it will remember the room. What I'm trying to do now is get a relatively solid mesh of one of the rooms so that when I go to do hand tracking, I'll have a target that I can check against. If I don't have a target to check against, if, there, if the room doesn't have the uh, kind of mesh put together, then I won't have any target to, to check distance against. So super quick, uh, it was just a chance to record uh, the device learning about the room and this app that I built to try and get the mesh a little bit cleaner. And uh, then I'm off to next steps. The next steps will be um, starting to be able to save these models. I'm going to work on that and, and actually refining a little bit of this. And then as soon as I get that done, I'll be on to uh, the proximity problem of measuring my hand.